I'll clean those up. Sad that I bumped it. What are you gonna do? Well, we'll see how this came out. Who knows? Gonna boil over. Looks like I had a problem here with the mold holding the sand and we had that spill and that might have occurred when I bumped it but I can use a Dremel to cut a lot of this away I think it's gonna be tough we'll have to see how it comes out let me get it uh, cleaned up we'll see what they look like all right we have got them cleaned up for the most part we'll start with the skeleton rounds I need to tumble them a little bit longer, I think, to make them look a little bit more clean. But I don't know, I'm kind of digging the different colors. 4.2 ounces, 4.7, and 5.1. This one's got a couple of uh, imperfections. This was the first one I poured, and as is true, the longer the molds stay heated up, then the better the pours get. First pour, second pour, and final pour or something like that, but I know the heavy one was the first one. Got a couple of bars here. I just did a quick um, grinder on them. This is a 28.4 ounce bar, and I did do all the sides, but I left the bottom, of course, just wire brushed. And then we also have the other one, and it had a big imperfection on the bottom. But I got my stamp on it, 27.2 ounces. We'll take it. Can't get too mad at that. These are Troy ounces. I didn't put the T on there this time, but it is Troy ounces, not regular ounces, but I wanted to make sure you knew that. And then the Kennedy, all I did was wire brush it. It didn't come out that bad. I mean, the bottom part came out better than the top. I did write Kennedy on the bust bottom. I'm probably gonna stamp that with some letters. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, it's a little bit wobbly and I don't know how well it will stamp. It probably will stamp okay, but we'll give it a shot. Maybe, I just gotta see if I have letters small enough and that's just a template to see if it would fit. That'll clean right off. I did cut the sides of the bust, like I said, to give it some symmetry, if you will. And I did cut off those rabbit ears from my mishap, but not too bad. I like it. I haven't weighed it yet. We'll weigh it here in a second. And then we also have the Hand of the King. Came out pretty cool. It does need a little more tumbling, a little more cleaning. I haven't done it yet. I just wanted to get these close to being ready since it was getting late and I wanted to get this video out to you guys tonight. Let me go ahead and weigh up the Kennedy and weigh up the hand and I'll be right back. All right, I haven't sent the ounces Troy just because that's what I usually deal in and the Kennedy is at 20.7 Troy ounces. We'll take that. And the hand of the king is 9.2 ounces, Troy. And you know what? I'm very happy with all of the pours. I wish the Kennedy one was a little more cleaner, but we have to do a better job next time. And at the end of the day, I like working with copper. It's a lot of fun. It's a beautiful metal once it's polished up. Again, only these four went through my rock tumbler. These three just were either grinded or wire brushed. Hopefully you enjoyed this copper pour. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy stacking, happy pouring, and thanks for watching.